reason that Venezuela was called El Dorado, the city of gold, because there is unbelievable natural wealth in the ground. They have more oil than Saudi Arabia, more gold than you can imagine. But now the government there, the Maduro cartel, has been allowed to steal not one, not two, but three elections. This last round, this election that they just had in July, the opposition parties won 70% of the vote. Maduro won 30%. And all, of course, all the diaspora, all the people that have left uh, Venezuela that are living in the United States or Mexico or Colombia, Peru, uh, are not permitted to vote. But even then, 70% of the people voted to oust these guys. They are backed by the Cubans. They're backed by the Iranians. They're backed by the Russians. And also, they're taking it down the road of more poverty, more despair, more socialism. And... It, it, to me, it's very concerning because what they've done, uh, you know, the goal of kind of a state capture of a political party to where there's really not elections anymore, it's kind of what happens in California. When the Democrats win those elections and the people in California are stuck with it. Now, a lot of them are voting with their feet, just like the people in Venezuela are voting with their feet and leaving. There's been another million and a half people just since July have left Venezuela Trump is right to complain about Venezuela because they literally sent all their murderers. They emptied their prisons and sent them as illegals up in the United States. You have the Trendiagua uh, gangs active in New York and Colorado. They took over some apartment buildings recently. It's just a mess. And um, I actually, uh, after the election, I trolled Maduro uh, by posting on, uh, on X... Uh, his wanted poster, because he's actually wanted for drug trafficking, uh, is a $15 million bounty. I said, if, if Biden and Harris want to support justice and actual democracy in Venezuela, they should up the bounties of these wanted criminals, of him, of Maduro, his interior minister, uh, uh, Cabello, and some others, and just up the bounties to $100 million apiece. They could use frozen funds of the Venezuelan government that the U.S. is already sitting on, and sit back and watch the magic happen. Uh, they didn't do that, but it's really gone um, viral in Venezuela. They are expecting, they're really hoping people from America, people from freedom-loving countries will help them get rid of this Marxist socialist gang that is now fully oppressing the, company, the country, having rejected three elections where they lost um, and now staying in power. The, the Cubans literally flew hundreds of additional security agents into the country the Iranians are there in force, uh, as are the Chinese. So it's um, the Monroe Doctrine is definitely dead uh, by the United States allowing this kind of nonsense to continue. And it does affect us because it pushes more and more people from Venezuela into the United States. Some are great. Some are not so great.